Hey everyone, welcome to Daily News Analysis. Today is 5th of July uh, and let's see what has been the development. There are, uh, there are so many important news coming from uh, politics, coming from sports, coming from uh, Supreme Courts, High Courts. So let's see which are the important things that you have to see as far as your uh, general awareness is concerned, competitive exams are concerned. Uh, starting with the first news, uh, we have uh, this uh, Supreme Court has refused uh, the Enforcement Directorate petition uh, to take over this case of Senthi Balaji. Uh, now, as you know that there has been this case going on regarding the custody of Tamil Nadu Minister uh, V. Senthil Balaji in a money laundering case. So, there was a split verdict. So, uh, the Madras High Court has given a split verdict. One of the uh, judges said that the, co uh, the, the case is not maintainable. Uh, the, and, and and the other one said that uh, he should be released so since one judge said that he should be released one judge said that he should not uh, the case is not maintainable uh, the matter uh, was uh, they approached the supreme court but the supreme court refused the uh, the ad petition to take over the case uh, now uh, we have this uh, another uh, uh, it, it further says that supreme court slams ad a plea to take over uh, this case uh, because in the madras high court uh, Justice Nisha Banu on the division bench held uh, the petition to be maintainable, declared the minister's detention to be illegal and consequently ordered his release. But Justice Bharat Chakravarti disagreed with the conclusions as well as reasons given by the senior judge on the bench. He dismissed the petition and held it to be non-maintainable. Now explaining the reasons for our conclusions, Justice Banu wrote that the relevant date for deciding whether a person's detention was legal or not would be the date when the petition related to his detention was heard by the court. In the present case, the minister was in the custody of ED when the petition was heard on 22nd June and such custody was illegal. Now please understand here as far as your uh, CLAT examinations are concerned, uh, there is this uh, issue of habeas corpus in this case. Uh, habeas corpus is one of the five rates uh, that is issued by the Supreme Court uh, and the meaning of the word habeas corpus is uh, to have the body. Uh, now in this case since he uh, was in a private, he is in a private hospital right now and is his detention illegal? Was the procedure followed? If it was, uh, it was illegal then the court may order to produce the body to produce the person and see whether his detention is legal or not legal. Uh, in, the, in the Bridge Bhushan case, uh, the court seeks minor wrestler's reply on police closure report. What happened here is that there was a POXO, the Prevention of Children from Sexual Offences Act. Uh, that, that's a very serious charge on uh, the, uh, the WFI, that is the Wrestling Federation of India Chief and the BJP MP Bridge Bhushan's uh, Sharan Singh. But now that has been withdrawn. The charges of sexual harassment were withdrawn in a fresh statement that was made to magistrate. So case under POXO cannot be made against Bridge Bhushan. That is why the police uh, cancelled the report. The police cancellation report has said. However, the court has uh, asked the minor uh, uh, why, the, why the police closure report should not be considered. That is the question now. Uh, in Maharashtra politics, a lot of uh, event is happening. Uh, so in Supreme Court, uh, the Uddhav camp says that the speaker is uh, delaying a dequalification process. Now, uh, here also as far as CLAT is concerned, uh, other law entrance examination is concerned, you should know about uh, disqualification, about uh, uh, section uh, schedule 10 of the Constitution of India that talks about a defection. Now here in the, what is happening currently in Maharashtra is that the Uddhav Thakre camp, uh, they have accused Maharashtra Assembly Speaker who is uh, Rahul Narvekar of deliberately delaying the disqualification process against the Chief Minister Eknath Sindhi for defection. And here the petition filed in the top court uh, amid a churn in Maharashtra politics uh, following Ajit Prawas split from the NCP to join the Shinde, uh, Shinde cabinet as Deputy Chief Minister said, a speaker should rise above their political affiliations while performing the duties of the office. The Thakre faction said, 
uh, Mr. Uh, Navrekar's conduct had been brazen disregard of his constitutional duties as a neutral arbiter under the 10th schedule which is the anti-defection law of the constitution. Uh, regarding the scheduled caste status, the Supreme Court will hear a plea on making it religion neutral because as far as scheduled castes are concerned, as we know that the caste system is uh, 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 prominently prevalent in the Hindu uh, society, that is to say we have Varna system where we have uh, Shudra, Vash, uh, Brahman and so uh, that, 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 that way, uh, the, what about the converts? So, uh, uh, it, uh, the, the plea contended that the denial of sh uh, scheduled caste status for Dalit converts from say uh, to Christianity or to Muslims uh, was sourced from the belief that both these faiths were historically foreign religions and do not recognize caste system as in Hinduism. So, that is what the court will hear now. Uh, Supreme Court uh, seeks government response on failure to fill NHRC vacancies. So in the National Human Rights Commission, uh, there have been vacancies that, uh, that, that are lying vacant. So the government will seek response from the government why they are not filling these uh, vacancies. Uh, the bench recorded the petitioner's submission that there were three vacancies in the commission, uh, two judicial members and a women member. So the existing seats are stated to have fallen vacant on September 2021, uh, January 4, 2023 and April 4, 2022 respectively and still it's lying vacant. Here the Green Tribunal has ordered the SOP, SOP is a standard operating procedure uh, to curb pollution at hospitals. So uh, the NGT, the National Green Tribunal has constituted a five member committee uh, which is headed by the Secretary of the Union Minister of Health uh, to form a SOP uh, for uh, environment management inside and around all government district hospitals and uh, uh, larger than such district hospitals including medical colleges within three months. Uh, one news coming from Haryana, they will now allow restaurants to run 24 hours uh, all the time to run around the clock. Uh, security however is a concern uh, so uh, the, the Haryana has the BJP and the JJP that is Bharati Janta Party and the Jananayak Janta Party government and they have decided to allow restaurants to remain open around the clock across the state. Uh, Deputy Chief Minister Dushyan Chautala said that the restaurant across the state can remain open 24 hours in Haryana. Uh, there will be no restrictions on them to close at night. Uh, Rajasthan has proposed a, a life imprisonment uh, to curb question paper leaks. So currently the punishment for uh, leak of question paper in the, in, in the competitive examinations or otherwise uh, was 10 years uh, which is now proposed to be uh, increased to life imprisonment and thereby making the law more stringent. Uh, there is Congress government in Rajasthan. Uh, there is this article about the uh, Panchayat polls in uh, uh, West Bengal which is uh, usually a violent affair and some data are given because uh, about 12% of the 74,000 seats uh, at the three tier Panchayats have been won uncontested ruling Trinmool Congress and in the 2018 Panchayat polls about 34% seats were won uncontested by the Trinmool and 17.66% 17, nominations were withdrawn. So security is a concern, it's a, the, uh, even before, I mean uh, the, the elections are supposed to happen on July 8 and 15 people have already lost their lives uh, right after the announcement, the notification of the uh, poll. Uh, there is a death toll in Israel's Jenin attack. Uh, there are 10 people died there. Uh, Palestinians uh, wound 8 in Tel Aviv. So what happened is that a uh, Hamas militant, he drove his car into a crowded bus stop uh, in Tel Aviv uh, and he began stabbing people. Uh, uh, he, he wounded 8 uh, in an attack which was uh, uh, praised by Palestinian militants groups as a response to Israel's ongoing military occupation in the occupied West Bank. 
Uh, good news coming from Egypt and Turkey that they had appointed ambassadors to each other's country for the first time in a decade and in a sign of warming ties. The two foreign ministers said that the move uh, aims at the renormalization of relations between the two countries and reflects the mutual will to develop bilateral relations. Uh, the chief of NATO will remain uh, 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 Stoltenberg, that is the uh, NATO Secretary General, James Stoltenberg, will remain in office for another year uh, that was decided by the 31 nation military alliance. Uh, he said that I am honored by NATO alliance uh, uh, to decision to extend my term as a Secretary General until 1st October 2024. In Afghanistan, they are banning all the beauty parlors uh, for women, so women's saloons will shut in Afghanistan. Anyway, uh, women hardly have any rights in Afghanistan. Uh, some uh, women, uh, you know, they run their beauty parlors, at least that is uh, one form of business they can be involved in, but even that is now being banned and uh, uh, that, that, is, that is one aspect uh, outside of their, uh, you know, in the public life that is also being taken away. So that is the situation in Afghanistan right now. Uh, as far as Canada is concerned, uh, the Khalistani movement uh, is being, uh, you know, continuously uh, an issue in Canada. So the Ministry of External Affairs, uh, they sum uh, he summoned the High Commissioner of Canada, Cameron Mackay, and launched a protest after campaigners for Khalistan put out posters targeting Indian diplomats in Canada. Uh, the top Canadian diplomat stationed in India was summoned after the poster circulated online naming two leading Indian diplomats that are stationed in Canada. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, Piyush Goel uh, has said in a statement that the government will not impede work by startups, rather government will facilitate uh, the startup, government will uh, promote the startup culture. Uh, so uh, it, it, it will act as a facilitator to strengthen the startup ecosystem and not act as a regulator uh, said the Commerce and Industry Minister Pius Coel. We are going to have an, a competitor for uh, Twitter that is uh, by the Meta, I mean the Facebook company. So Meta will introduce uh, a Twitter challenger which is called Threads, uh, Threads via Instagram. This week it's coming. Uh, so the Meta platforms plan to launch a Twitter rivaling microblogging app called Threads. Uh, and if you, if you must have noticed, uh, 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 read somewhere that the twit uh, Twitter boss Elon Musk uh, uh, attracted criticism by announcing uh, a temporary cap on how many posts users can read on the, uh, on, on the Twitter. So uh, now the thread is being introduced as a competitor. Sri Lanka uh, is getting $250 million as a budgetary and welfare support from the World Bank. So the country is going through its worst economic crisis since 1948. The World Bank announced that they approved 700 million million to the debt hidden company. Uh, in sports, we have uh, great news coming from football. Uh, Sunil Chetri's men claimed their second title in a month after edging Kuwait in penalty, that is sudden death. Uh, the regulation time ends 1-1 one, one as uh, uh, Changi's 38th minute goal cancels out uh, uh, Al Khadi's strike. In another uh, sports, we have Changte and Manisha. They have been named the AIFF Player of the Year 2023. So, India and Mumbai City FC uh, winger Changte uh, named the AIFF Men's Footballer of the Year. On the back of his impressive performance in the ISL, Indian Super League, and for the national team. And also the Mizoram player, uh, uh, Manisha Kalyan was also named the AIFF Women Player of the Year after AIFF's annual general meeting. Ajit Agarkar has been named the chairman of BCCI's Senior Men's Selection Committee. Now this post was lying vacant uh, since February this year after Chetan Sharma resigned. Uh, the three-member uh, cricket advisory committee, which will, uh, which is headed by Ashok Malhotra, recommended Ajit Agarkar for the post after interviewing him uh, virtually. 
<coughs> we have uh, Philip Sain who takes second straight stage win and uh, 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 Jasper Phillips uh, Philip Sain uh, she won a mass sprint to win a second uh, straight stage uh, victory at the Tour de France on uh, Tuesday uh, while Adam Yates kept the race the leaders yellow jersey uh, PV Sindhu slips to 15th in the latest badminton world rankings so India's PV Sindhu slips three places to the 15th spot in women single in the latest uh, uh, BWF world rankings uh, that was released on Tuesday uh, Sindhu who dropped out of the top 10 in April has uh, 51,070 uh, points from 13 tournaments. That's all for right now. Thank you so much. Keep reading news. Keep following uh, this channel. Subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends. See you in the next video. Till then, have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you so much.